Yo, peep these patch notes. Ubisoft had their Ubisoft Forward event that happened on Monday. Um, and uh, I don't know, th- did Enigma, did you get to stream this one or no? I did not. No, oh, okay. I, it, 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 I, I, woke, I woke up and I had to do some stuff around the house and, and get a couple of things done. So I was not able to stream it, but I did watch oh. a little bit of it. And it, it did watch seem them. like it was okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I heard. I watched a bit of it and listened to a bit of it at work, but the general consensus of what I've yeah. gathered is it was just a very okay. Right. I mean, they, yeah. they showcased. They showcased. It was, it, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. They showcased Outlaws, um, yeah. you know, with some more gameplay, which, you know, everybody was, was pretty hyped about. Like, the, the, the gameplay showcase it did, was it, good. It did, you know? actually did look pretty solid yeah. with some of the stuff they showed. It, it, it looked did. better than yeah. Starfield with yeah. some of the stuff they showed. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll argue with some of that, but yeah. No, I mean, uh, the, really, it's the, the load times of flying into... Yeah. Planets, yeah. they they beat them uh, that they uh they showcased a lot of assassin's creed shadows which we didn't get anything new that we didn't already know they just showed a showed off a lot more gameplay it showed off um, gameplay yeah, gameplay looked gameplay. really good right like this it is did. a time this is a time period that i'm super interested in i would love to go back you know or, or go to and play um you know so i i may jump on the assassin's creed uh you know i played we played me and enigma <laughs> um, played the norse know, one we, we played the last yeah. one um valhalla valhalla really good well uh, th- here's the I... thing this thing uh, now having a playstation the playstation plus stuff gives you i don't know if it'll give you assassin's creed shadows i seriously doubt it but eventually it will give you it assassin's might. creed because i get assassin's creed valhalla uh right now yeah. and so um you know that just might not be immediate right. really just depends on yeah. what deal they have with sony really so yeah um the other thing that they really leaned heavily into, and I don't know why they leaned so heavily into this, um, was Prince of Persia. Um, so they have the 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 current one, right? Or, so they, they they've dropped three Prince. Well, this they would be two. three. They, well, so they, they three did with two. this one, right? Yeah. And it's they have like Prince, the Prince of Persia, the side scroller one, or whatever it was. The Prince of Persia Rogue, and now they have Prince of Persia and the Sands of the, Time. The Sands right? of Time that they are remaking, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you know which. Again, I'm not. Can you, I'm can not, you play the video? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's actually go to YouTube and we will play it right there. Um, so this is the this is the remake uh of Sands of Time, which Sands of Time. I don't if you guys ever played it. I played it. Phenomenal Great. game. You know, it was phenomenal a, game. Yeah. One one of my one of the first uh, Prince of Persia games that I played, and it was like my introduction into Prince of Persia, and loved it. Yeah, fucking just, amazing game. I don't know why they are going to the Prince of Persia well so much. Like, it's really weird to me that they are going yeah. so heavily in Prince of Persia because there's not an... Was, was that it? That is literally it. Oh, that was it. That wow. was That's it. It is just a <laughs> teaser. It's just an okay. announcement. A teaser. Cool. Wow. So wow. we're going to go okay. back to here. Cool. Um, Thanks, Ubisoft. Appreciate that. But they I, also- dude, honest, Honestly, the reason why I think it is is because I think they're running out of IPs to to, like... They've they they've already done the treatment that they do or that that I that Activision does with uh, COD with with uh, Prince of, or not with Prince of Persia with uh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed right Assassin's Creed has a yearly fucking release pretty much these these days. Um, they've they've done the same thing. They they've almost beat the the dead horse that is uh, Tom Clancy into the in, back into the grave. Right, in my opinion at least. Um, so they they they're having they're struggling you know releasing new games in the in the Tom Clancy universe. Um. And Prince of Persia just hasn't, I, I think it's just not been on people's minds as much. And so maybe they're trying to revive that I mean, franchise I, a little bit. I mean, I, it, with, with, yes. with two new releases like this year now. and then this, that's yeah. the only thing that I can think of is that they're trying to revive the Prince of Persia because otherwise it's, it's literally just a, a an IP that's quote unquote. And, and I, I know this is pun intended gathering sand in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I well, but. I mean, I think that. Uh, sorry, my kid came in and then burped and then walked out. So um, nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> so um, I think the I don't know. It's just to me, you're gonna overdo it. I think you're gonna oversaturate the market. Yeah, like, especially one, especially because not only did you just have Prince of Persia, the the um, side scrolling one, and then yeah. you immediately followed that up with like Rogue, which. Don't get me wrong, like I love like Rogue looks really good. Like, you know, uh and and um, you know, I want to give it a try when it's you know fully out there. Um, but then again to then be like, oh, by the way, we're also doing it's just like, yo, we just got two. Like, you know, and obviously this is 
2026. So we're not getting it like right away. Right. Like this is right going away. to be yeah. two years down the road. Well, so and and to be fair, it's it's a remake, so it's not like it's it's going to be anything like new and 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 completely mind blowing. We've already seen what Prince of Persia in the Sands of Time gives us, right? It's just this yeah. is just a retelling of that I, I, I think story. It's, essentially, it's, it's fine, honestly. Um, you know, I I think they're like spreading it. it out long enough with the uh, actual I'm, release I'm dates of them. It. Yeah, yeah, I, I think they're just building off the hype of of the other uh, Prince of Persia titles that they have now. So like, hey, guess what? There's more. Like, yeah, I, I think it's fine. Well, it, it, it's and it is it is a weird release schedule too, because for me, to to me, being a Prince of Persia fan from from before, right? The 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 schedule that I feel like they should have went down was Prince of Persia and the Sands of Time re release, right? That should have been the first one. Right. Yeah. To get everybody's hype up, right? To be like, hey, we're bringing it back. And then you release the new ones. Yeah. Like, yeah they, they definitely it seems backwards. They, they flipped sure. it. <laughs> backwards for sure but i, I have yeah. a feeling that this isn't just gonna be your typical remake like i, I think that this is gonna I, be i'm, I'm um, thinking it'll be down the route of like final fantasy 7 or yeah. whatever the the, the well, reboot for them, for them to take it's for, yeah. for them to take this, this is a remake long, right i know it's a remake a but remaster. I, I right that's what i'm saying like I, I think but i think that it's actually going to be more of a reimagining than even just a remake like you know i i think that you know, you have a remaster, which is just them carbon copying the code, then you or, or the game and just making it prettier. Then you have a remake, which is them pretty much staying standard to the game and then making it better and 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 adding some functionalities. Then I think what you're gonna have in this is actually a full blown reimagine where they're gonna take the game, they're gonna for it to be in development for two years and then to announce it now, that's yeah. not a remake. Like a remake is something that you're like, oh hey, a, this game's coming out in six months. And and here you go, right? Like, uh, uh, I don't know. That's Could just be. my kind of feeling on it. Yeah. So. I would, I would think that that would be the opposite. A remaster would be the the it takes quick, well, and then a remake, and an, an entire remake would be the longer, right? Like yeah. that's, beyond remake, he's saying just a completely new game almost, but the same yeah. storyline, right? That's, that's, no, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying as well. Yeah, right. But that's why I'm saying I don't right. think that it's gonna, like it's my own it's my own naming thing like when they say remake to me i'm like you're keeping more closely to the core of what the game is oh, i have a feeling yeah, yeah. that this one is not just tweaking a few this, things this is this is using the name and then they're going to just basically complete like you said final fantasy you know seven just to me complete, final fantasy seven is not a re remake that is a fucking that is a yeah. reimagining that's a that's a whole new game right um yeah you yeah. know with basically Could the storyline um we also talked about or they got they showed off a lot from uh the um uh, x defiant world I'm pretty uh pretty excited yeah i don't know man i, I want to be i, I want to say we're gonna talk about p, p predicts came in yeah with your boy <laughs> i called them adding uh not only a trophy system was what i wanted i'm like hey they should add a trophy system we need it and i'm like what would be more perfect to add a trophy system than Jaeger and 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 the Rainbow Six faction? We Actually, got it. We're gonna hold off on that because I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the the new X Defiant sh stuff uh, and came on there. But um, yeah, they showcased that. They showcased what's gonna come in season one. I want to talk about it next after we kind of get through this. Um, but uh, they also showcased Skull and Bones, guys. I eh. I'm telling you right now, man. This game is this game is fucking it's DOA. it's it's yeah it's done it's man. Rough. Yes. it's in a very 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 rough spot this this reminds me almost of suicide squad kill the justice league so i like that to me is what this is like they they completely bombed this entire release and i don't i don't Just see the, it going the, the too much of time they spent on this game too it's sad it really Atrocious. is sad yeah. i mean it's yeah. and i think i think a big part of it again is the lack of pvp content like i know you guys get sick of me yeah. saying it but like the lack of pvp content well, well, no no I, this in, in this, this in this case this is it. yeah no yeah. In, in this case this is the, no this is just a, a game that needed it this is a game that had it yeah and then they removed it well, right well right <laughs> exactly like why why, like, why this, what was this the made no sense process behind that yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know. This I mean, this one hundred percent makes sense that that you would be angry about them like not having PvP like they it should have had PvP. It's a fucking pirate game. Yeah, what, it's what, it's a what, multiplayer pirate game. What's sad is that it, it this is a game that I was actually very excited for. And Same. Then yeah. When they when they was when that they the just Joker? Got it. No, it's it's no it's, no Joker. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. the Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah. 
So, did they add um, it in again? Did they add PvP in again? Wow. Well, they didn't add it. They didn't add it in as an open world. It's still a section based area. Is it still a sectioned off yeah. like instance or, or, based? Or okay. you have to go and grab a piece of gear that then like you know does all that. Like you yeah. know, uh, it, it, you know. Even it, I don't here, know. here's the sad thing about why even like watching this, I'm like, dude, this game, this looks so fucking good. Like I want to, I want to go play yeah. it. Like you know, but then I, you actually play it and you're just like, you're, oh, fuck, you're, t- man. you're telling me. You're telling yeah. me, like, I've been looking forward to this game since they first announced it, like, 18 million years ago. And then the, the, every time they were like, hey, uh, by the way, so Skull and Bones, not doing too well, probably not going to happen. I was like, you motherfuckers, right? And, and then they'd be like, hey, we're, we're developing it again. I promise. It's not going to be like the last time. We're definitely going to get it done five months later. Hey, it's it, it probably, don't, don't get your hopes up, right? Right. <laughs> like, like, it just, I, PVE content in this yes it makes sense but it's just pvp is what yeah i mean this, this is the uh, the exact product of of what happens when a game gets stuck in development hell yeah and you're seeing it here yeah yep. now are they saying so they're saying pika is saying they're talk. you're talking about pvp so did they add pvp because it does say including Open our fresh in, in, including our fresh pvp mode so are they adding a fucking pvp mode or is it just a uh, and even, even so like even if they add in a pvp mode the yeah so here a 5v5 pvp mode that's great yeah. um and then if if you're telling me like hey like this is a mode that like my ship that i'm taking from my pve experience now moves over into the pvp okay but i don't know if there's enough there to make people want to queue for pvp like that's that's the other side of it. Like, is there enough yeah. people out there that want to do? Because if that's the case, well, if, it, if it actually is the case, and they are going to have a PvP I mean, mode that makes sense, I would come back. I'd be like, cool, you know what? Sign I me mean, up. Ubi, Ubisoft themselves have stated that this game is one of their most popular game releases in recent, is in like recent, their like recent stuff that they've released. So I don't know. I don't personally agree. With, I, I don't personally think that that's the case. I, I don't, I, I doubt, I highly doubt that there's enough of a game, a, a player base for this um to it's, successfully I don't think do that you can't get but, this on steam right like this is only only available i mean it's it's through, ubisoft it's yeah it's, it's, it's only their, available their through ubisoft ubisoft Connect or launcher. yeah uh so. yeah no it's only through their launcher i yeah. was trying to see if we can get numbers for it but <clears throat> i don't know okay they're i mean they're they're not gonna ever release numbers for it the, but I, the, I very highly doubt that there's enough of a player base i could be wrong the other crazy thing wrong. about this i is don't think i am but that they're already in season two season and three. three right like they're moving yeah. into season two and wow. three and i'm like that, uh, that made no sense to me i'm like you literally just released like, like what do you yeah. mean you're already in season three i mean hey you know what though we knock a lot of fucking games for not having content what it tells me is that that's that is cutting room floor well, shit yeah like, that is uh, all again, cutting room floor so, content. so i have i have said this multiple times in the past that the, this is the kind of shit that i don't like from gaming companies especially ubisoft ubisoft is terrible with this kind of shit right this is like artificially designed right this is this is stuff that should have probably been in the game from the get-go and it was just pulled out of the game because they were like we can make that season content right like there's there's no way that this wasn't already in the game with I, that, I wonder, with that too, I they have a rate. huge backlog of stuff too just because of how long probably, this game yeah. was in development More i'm likely. sure if it yeah but yeah, uh, I, I, I'm right there with you, man. I'm, I'm like, I, I would love to play this game. I would love to get into this game. I just like to, to me, the, the continuous, like, like uh, the, the continuous cancellations and, and, and pushing back of the releases, how it released, the attitude from the, uh, the developers when it released, um, and, and just like the, the, the constant changes just made it so that I, I just, I didn't give a shit. Like by the time that it released, I was just like, whatever. It's uh, I'd rather not. I'd just rather not play it. You know. And this this was the game they said was a quintuple a quintuple a game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a quadruple 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 a game or whatever. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that'll be that'll be their next game. That that'll that'll be uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. That'll be the quintuple game. Here's what I'll say (laughs) is if they stick, like I I'll give Ubisoft shit because they deserve it. But also at the same time, what I'll say is that. You know, you look at like For Honor, you look at like Rainbow Six Siege, right? Those are two games too that did not exactly thrive at launch. Siege did a little bit. Like Siege, Siege did well, but it wasn't it wasn't nearly as popular as what it is I mean, now. So so did For Honor. For Honor was extremely popular on it first. Well, launched. yeah, it's... but but it, it it didn't it did it it quickly became 
it doesn't have the player base nearly close to what it should be in a sense of a game that's yeah. going to I mean, it's, keep, it's a, keep getting it's a updates like game, it is. So, but yeah. it's getting updates constantly. Maybe they can fit, you know, maybe it's, this is something where they're like, hey, like, this is going to be something that we're going to stick with. I hope so. I hope that they can get this game to know, where man. it needs to be. I don't know, but I, I would love I, for it to. I think like, that I, I'm, I'm personally of the mind that, like, like Scruffy said, there's probably a lot of backlog with how long this thing has been in, in development. And once we get to the end of that backlog, that'll probably be the end of it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, just my, my doubt it. that's just that's just my look forward into the future with how they've handled the game so far the game release so far but yeah i hope i'm wrong because if if they pull an omen sky i'll gladly go back to this game i'll I'll gladly play this game it's it's right up my alley i love the i love the uh the black flag sailing and that's that's basically all this game is aren't, aren't you so tired of that sailing. though of these games just launching am. shit states for i am them extremely to have to build, tired of it yes yeah. build back a community and, and myself the game myself and like, shall well, my, myself and shallow have been on. saying it for years now where we're just like, yeah. i'm just tired of games that release we're, we're in such a in shitty buggy state messes, of man. games like these past well, years not, have been yeah. so yeah. tough and, and it's not even just that as far as like games that are you know they release in a shitty state but also with games that just they don't have the holding and staying power to keep you yeah. interested like yeah. literally the reason that i am going back to playing these two other games uh you know that we'll talk about next week show up next week's show 127 um is because i am literally like needing i mean i'm just like dying of thirst for a game that is going to hold my attention for more than fucking five seconds like don't get me wrong loving you know body cam but i i, I can only play it for so long right gray zone same thing like i love gray zone i'm only gonna be able to play it for so long and I'm just kind of like, I need something that's going to keep me fucking pushing to that next level. And I'm sick and tired of it being, oh, well, fucking a new COD skin came out. So play that or a yeah, new battle pass right. came out. So grind out the battle pass. Like, that's not enjoyable. Like, I want the loop to be there and actually be something, you know, fun to do. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, it's it sucks, um, you know, right now. I agree. We um, just we, need our wild star back. We do. <laughs> we did get to, uh, we talked about Prince of Persia. They also showed a new update for the Lost of Crown. Um, that's getting, which is the the other Prince of Persia game that released. Uh, it's getting a new DLC um, as well in September, and then an update for the Rogue um, is also getting uh, a free update uh, called Temple of Fire. Um, to me, I don't I don't like how they're calling this a free update because I'm like, dude, the game's in early access. It's not technically out yet. Like, why is it yeah. getting a free fucking update? Like, no shit, it should be free um yeah. you know yeah. kind of thing yeah, that's kind of funny um, that's, you know, that's that's Ubi, ubisoft's quote quote unquote quotations you know they're they're yeah. triple they're quadruple a games you know this is a free update for for a we're game do, that technically isn't actually released for you guys <laughs> yeah, yeah um uh Thank if, us. <laughs> if you like uh avatar which i heard was good but you can i heard just, that was was really good it's yeah. also just far cry um you can go play uh, avatar they're getting a story expansion um for that one so that's that's kind of cool um but again it's it's it, and this is so odd because like we said this is a world this is we're living in a world where we're like hey you got to come out with more content more content more content for your game um but then we also chastise the game for being like oh you just had the game just released you're already dropping content the problem with that i think what we're saying there is that you're dropping content that is absolutely cutting yeah. on the floor content the, like that is content that, that's, that's the, the thing yeah. is like i'm i'm asking for more content from games that have have been released for a, a significant amount of time and the content that they are dropping are like patch notes right or or like they're they're adding in like one cosmetic right when it comes down to like something like skull and bones with their season one season two and season three it, it's very very obvious that, that content was already in the game it was already developed yeah. right like they, there's there's no way that they developed that one i mean maybe there is I, it's it's very possible maybe but they just got i just got very not dedicated drop that much yeah like, but you're not dropping that much content yeah that quickly without having at least nine tenths of it already can already complete right like that's yeah. there's no way there's there's yeah. just the, like especially considering the fact that that game took how long to fucking develop right 10 years no fucking way a long, <laughs> no long fucking time. way dude yeah um the crew motor fest got a uh got an update on the final season um i was gonna say because i thought two. this game was being uh not shut down but go, uh, cease development and and no. this is this is it nope no this is uh um the second year um they they, they teased so they're still going the, the after teased, this 
uh, they teased year two. Yeah, the, the crew is a different game than the crew. The crew is extr- yeah, the crew is actually extremely is, popular, honestly. I didn't is, know there was two different crews. There's a different, yeah, th- there's the crew and then the crew motor fest. That's, that's this one. This, this is uh, th- this is moving into their second season. And yes, the crew is actually extremely popular. Um, okay. Uh, so that's getting on. And the big news that I think dropped that everybody was super stoked about. Uh, well, maybe not everybody, but people were super stoked about it as a new Anno game. I liked Anno. I, I like Anno. I've watched a lot of Anno. I want to play Anno. I just never had yeah. the balls, balls to actually do it. Um, but this Anno, uh, Pax Romana, um, is, is coming out. People were kind of losing their shit um, with it. Um, so I'm excited for... I, I thought it looked really good. Yeah. So, um, All right. Let's talk about X Defiant. I want to... Because, man... Um, I don't know whether how I want to feel about this. When I when the game launched, I had a lot of fun with it. And I know Scruffy, you're still having fun with it. I know Pika, yeah. I think is is well, Pika's on the fence back and forth with it. Um, and then you have uh, I know the guys that you play with, like Rocks and all that kind of stuff, are are enjoying it as as well. I give I give zero fucks. I <laughs> here my thing with this game, um, is that I they it it could be so much fun, but like. The fact that they are, they've not fixed the sniper, that the, they're waiting so long to fix the sniper. Um, and then also like things that need to be addressed right out of the gate, which is like net code problems, um, yeah. all that kind of stuff. It's taking to me. Too that's long. the biggest issue. Like, the, yeah. It, yeah. They're, they're doing decent on, on content and whatnot, but the actual functionality of the game is where they should be focusing uh, right now. And, and they are, yeah, like you said, they're taking too long. Um, what I will say about the snipers, they haven't necessarily fixed it, at least to like, I'm sure your liking and, and a few others, mine included. They have added uh, bullet flinch now, like more severe bullet flinch. Uh, but other than like the the damage numbers on snipers, they are still roughly, I, I think they're untouched. So they're still one shots to like the, the chest and up. Um, snipers and all all shooters are such a hard thing to balance it's it's been a, a such a, a problem it, for many many years even in cod it's it's there so i i don't know you want to know um, how you balance it? flinches good go you're you gonna say take them out no you you make a mode like if you want to play fucking snipers you do shotguns and snipers and you make a mode and that's all you do like you want to make all these kids happy. I don't know. All these people happy that want to yeah, run around with a fucking sniper. That, that's not, that's like, not going to make them happy. That's right. Not, I don't give a shit. The... But that, that's fine. That's not. Yeah. That, the, well, it's the, fi- the fix is, is that if you're not going to do it, if you're not going to take your time to do a sniper, right? Because here the, the, the devs for this game are ex Call of Duty devs. I get that. Right. They came from, um, and our ex Call of Duty pros, they came from the days of the intervention on say. fucking MW2, how, one, how you know, trick shotting, a, a sniper right if if it's not adding that mode whatever you're talking about if you're to have it in the game so you're gonna have to, to me a sniper should only be able to do damage like kill like a one-shot kill on a headshot at all period right and that and that headshot the 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 hitbox for your head should be very small like and also too if you're gonna do a chest shot it should take in my opinion two to three shots to take down i just don't think yeah that but at, it- at the same time you're applying like extremely like like realistic requirements to a very not realistic arcadey game right but if you're right, gonna have yeah. a, like you're if, gonna have if a... you if you want if you want that realistic of a, of a sniper rifle then this would be an entirely different game the problem that i guess would be you, more you, you bring... down to, akin to siege right no because the problem that you introduce is that if you don't do those mechanics like that then you have people that are running around that are on a tiny ass map using a sniper rifle that one shot kills no matter where it hits. And the, even with the bullet flinch, it, it doesn't matter. Like they can just jump, pop you and you're done and you're fucked. Like, and yeah. so on top I'm, I'm of not, that, I'm not arguing issues, with you on that point. Problem. I, I'm, I'm not arguing. I, I agree with you that I think that they, they've done the, the snipers extremely dirty. Like it's, it's not a very good way of doing things, but like at the same time, making it ultra realistic sniper mechanics in a, in a not realistic at all, arcadey shooter is i don't think is the fix like I mean, that's I, i'm not asking for I also i i don't think i think this game compared to like say cod is is an easier time to go up against snipers because you actually have multiple ways to counteract them with your 
abilities and characters and and you know i don't know I, if that's I true don't... man i mean you don't get that like your ability yeah. cooldown is is, is pretty low and it's not like or it's still pretty high i mean like... I, I i say you have a better chance than than cod at least um yeah like still you saying think... in chat i think that halo sniper does it well like it's it's a, it's a one shot headshot two shot body shot like that's not crazy to ask for in a game where I, I a do sniper should agree. be a fucking farther shot. Like the, the purpose of a sniper in any game is you're, you're wanting to stand back and pop shots. Like that is the point of a sniper. Like, and yeah, if you're super good, you can headshot, like run around, like, don't get me wrong. Like I had no scope headshots on halo all day long, but I like the, you have literally half of the people in the game, if not more are running around with snipers that it, I will say, I do agree that the, the, the meter of like, where the one shot should be in play should be just the head or just a little under i think it, it's too severe of like the chest and stomach is still considered the, like a one shot i think the hitbox is, is too large yeah yeah um I, i'll agree to you there i i don't i also think it might depend on the sniper um you know and i i think there is there there is some factor in play with like the mosin uh i don't know the m88 isn't a, a one shot if it's like upper chest if it's like hit in the stomach it's a two shot but the the tack being a heavier caliber sniper is a one shot in like the upper chest um so i think per sniper it could be balanced a little better um i get it. I, yeah i could see that I yeah I like, like if, if, if you're if you're wa if you're running around like like a low caliber like drm dmr or something like that yeah it's like, not necessarily they're, like they're a, a, a rifles, shot like that but... one shot you in the head unless you uh um uh, you know like the semiotic uh ones but like they're two to three shots in the chest still so i don't know i think it's just i i might not see it as much i i, I know there is a big uh a lot of people are complaining about it but like i don't have that terrible of a time going up against them like i said i i utilize a bunch of my abilities and and you know ways to get around it and and fight back even if it's not me pulling out a sniper i yeah i just i don't know whenever you load into a match man you see a, a you know 70 percent of, of the room is all but it's just all, all snipers I, like it's just it's, a sniper glints as far really as don't the see it can too see. Much. <laughs> i don't know man i mean I, dude me me and pika literally I've seen loaded yeah. into match and match I, and match I, I, I was watching matches. nothing but snipers like, yeah I've, i was i was, I was couple, watching but... bite i was watching bite play earlier and then like legitimately like he would run and just glint, 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 yeah. glint, glint. Or the or the kill feed is literally like sniper kill, sniper kill. Like, like yeah. also too, you want to make it fair. Like, and we gotta we need to move on to some of the other stuff that they talked about. But like this, you, you want to make it fair, then you the reload fucking. I mean, that should be just it, it should be like cool. You're gonna kill one person. You shouldn't be able to go boom, 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 boom. And like, cause I'm literally watching the kill feed just go one, two, three, four, five, six. And this dude is just literally just like up, 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 and it's like. That's you got a triple that's just kill. Our arcade. That's arcade shooters. That's I mean, it's not. Paced. That's not our. Ar yeah, that's not arcade that, shooters. That, that is. It, that is a. Yes. That is a. That is a COD. That's an old, yes. old, old school style an COD shooter. that people moved away from and and actively like. If here's my thing, I'm not alone that's, because if I was alone, exactly they wouldn't be it. changing it. Like if, if I was alone in the feeling that this is a problem, they wouldn't. I mean, be they're changing not changing it. it. They're just tweaking it. They, 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 they are. The they're act, they're actively talking about how they need to change the damage model on the sniper yeah that's a problem you're still, like so you're still gonna have a, that that arcade fuel though with with chain kills and and whatnot that's the, how the game is set up it's it, it it doesn't it doesn't feel good i'm gonna tell you right now if they don't change that kind of stuff it's not gonna last the game won't last it will not survive it just won't no now, i doubt i i uh, feel like it will <laughs> as far as the other stuff they did announce like you said scruffy um the um rainbow six uh, faction faction coming out um yes, sir you know which I, I think is good they're getting the new mode they fixed uh not fixed they they tweaked be hopping as well by yep. the way yep. to and add on to it and crouching so you can't just spam be hop and crouch uh anymore uh that you still see it a bit um it just you can't consistently do it yeah oh well the biggest thing there was that i think the reason that they did that was instead of fixing it giving vulnerability which it was doing, it was kind of giving iframes. They were just like, ah, we'll, we'll tweak it. So where now you just can't do it as much. Um, yeah. You know, because I don't know. If, I don't know about the iframes. What do you dude, mean? I'm going to tell you right now, like jumping in that game, if you were jumping, you absolutely were like, I, I would test well, that, it where you would not get probably paid. in conjunction with their net code and desync guarantee you. Um, 
<laughs> if they do manage to fix that shit, then there won't be whatever you said, iframes. That that yeah. won't be a thing. Well, they so, need to fix that. Yeah. Fucking Besides, fast. they do need to fix that shit. And it pisses me off because I run around a corner, I get shot five minutes back. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, which is yeah. just again, this is a shocker that all of these games uh, should have and or this game should have launched with these things figured out considering how long it took to fucking make. Dude, like, yeah, this game, that, that's, that's, that's more so, so than others, definitely, yeah. Yep, um, so anyway, uh, so uh, getting a bunch of update, we're getting the new class, it's gonna have the Jaeger, like, deployable um, type Riot of thing. Shield. Riot Shield. Um, and uh, new, you know, uh, Capture Flag, which is exciting, I think that'd be fun. And TDM. Um, and, and TDM, and then also getting the ranked mode. So um, that and was everything map. that they, they, uh, they talked about. Yep, new map as well. Thanks all for tuning in to the Patch Notes. And if you enjoyed and want to see more, you can catch us live every Thursday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Or catch us after the fact at anchor.fm forward slash podcast. See you next time.